I just want to take a second real quick and say thank you for all the love and all the support on the recent videos. They've been absolutely blowing up and it's all thanks to you guys. I never thought like I'd be getting the views I'm getting and pulling the subscribers I'm pulling and it's just such a good feeling. I want to say thank you guys for watching the videos and supporting me and enjoying the content I'm making. It motivates me to get out here and film and do what I love every single day hoping that one day this could become like a career and this could be my life is making videos for you guys. So yeah, thank you. It means the absolute world to me seeing all this love and support. We are back with an episode of rating my subscriber snowmobiles it has been a long time since we've done a rating my subscriber snowmobiles video and i just had so much other content i wanted to push out before i made another one of these plus i was trying to like build up enough sleds to do another episode but now that we finally have enough sleds to go into another episode of rating my subscriber snowmobiles that's exactly what we're gonna do today so now that i have two instagrams i have my main one which is just the ad zach lucars and i have the ad zach lucars productions that one is more focused on the youtube channel and what's going on with my life and my youtube life that is the one where i want all my new submissions sent to because i honestly don't use the other Instagram all that much. If I miss your sled or you guys have a sled you want me to rate, go ahead and send it to this Instagram right here on the screen. Go ahead and send me a picture of your sled, what year it is, what sled it is, and what has been done to it, and we'll go ahead and get it in a future episode. We have a lot of people that are new to the channel since the last time I've done a rating my subscriber snowmobiles. So how this works is you guys send me pictures of your sled and I rate them on camera. We rate them on a scale of one to 10, one being clapped, 10 being like perfect. This is not meant to hurt any feelings or any of that. It's more of just like something fun to showcase your guys' sleds. I'm not judging them up how new or older sled is because truly I do not care. If you're out enjoying the sport on whatever it is, I don't care, it doesn't matter to me. This is more for fun and to showcase your guys' sleds. Before we get into the first sled of the day, go ahead and take a quick second and make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so that being said let's go ahead and get into the first sled of the day our first sled of the day is gonna be from alex alex has a 2019 summit sp 146 octane blue full body skid plate slp front bumper mbrp trail can line q removable snow flat bca tunnel bag line q seat bag beam tech led headlights dude the sled looks awesome you got a few things done to it really digging the line bumper there and i'm liking your line gear with the blue the lime and blue thing love it my dad has it going with his sled i think it's an awesome combo sweet sled got some things done to it i'm gonna go ahead and start you off with an eight our next sled of the day is gonna be from jose jose has a 2013 m8000 snow pro it's got a jaws race line complete i upgraded the chain case tensioner because in these years they had an issue with the tensioner all the bumpers are homemade and powder coated you put a team's clutch on it and remove the track will riser because it tends to retract at any time dude that is awesome that you have homemade bumpers i've never really seen that done before i mean you're curious like did you fab those up yourself or do you have a buddy fab them or what either way it's super sick that you have homemade parts on the sled it's just something that makes the sled so unique i like the blue and the white comedy you got going there i'm gonna go and give you an eight Jay Stefan here is a 2018 Mountain Cat 8000, and he didn't give me any info on the sled, but just from looking at the picture, looks fairly stock, but it looks like it's a nice looking sled, dude. Is that a 162? That's pretty sick. I don't know if it's a one. I don't. I don't know the other cat track size. Okay, it looks like a 162, but either way, man, sled looks sick. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a seven. Oh, I think I fucked up. Eric here with a 2019 Pro MK800 with a three inch track and it looks to be a 2019 or 2020 I can't really tell the color scheme I think it's a 2019 either way you don't see the red and black very often and I love when you send me videos because like I like putting your guys videos in my videos it just makes it more entertaining for you guys to watch and more entertaining for me to edit either way man six sled you're absolutely ripping it I'm gonna go and give you a seven rally gear here and he has two sleds to show us today the first one is the green and white sled is a 2012 zr 600 snow pro custom race can and a wheelie monster dude that sled sounds insane i literally listened to that and freaked out uh beautiful exhaust absolutely love it the purple sled is a 16 zr 6000 rxc speed works clutching high compression heads and wow dude those sleds are gorgeous and they sound incredible i am definitely gonna go ahead and give you a nine Mr. Turner here. Turner has a 2016 Summit 800, headlight lead, 6 inch light bar, red line performance turbo and field programmer, thing rips and is pumping out 220 horsepower on 5 PSI. Dude, my first Mustang had 300 horsepower, that was a car. To have 220 horsepower on a sled, 
crazy, ridiculous, insane. Um, so it looks like it rips, obviously, and I'd love to ride that. Like, what I want to know what 220 horsepower feels like on like a 400 pound sled. That's insane to me. So six sleds, sick build. I'm gonna give you an eight. We got Jesse here. Jesse has a 1980 Articat 440 mod sled. I have a 136 inch skid with a two inch paddle that's gonna be under her soon. I have my eye on a 600 to throw in there that might be happening, dude. That is awesome. I love seeing stuff like this. Like, I we me and my boy Brandon we bought the Articat Jag with like intentions to do something similar to this, but we never ended up doing it. But like to build up a sled like that, throw with 136 with a two inch and the riser and like drop it a different motor. That's awesome, dude. And I like respect the effort and respect the build. Um. Please send me pictures of it when you're done with that 136 skid because that's going to be really interesting to see. And it's going to be a really unique build. Um, Just for the build and everything, man, I'm going to give you an 8. sent me his Polaris. It looks to be an Indy XC if I'm not mistaken. It's hard to tell because he didn't tell me what sled it was. But the way, man, I like the color scheme and the can sounds incredible. And he said that we should go up to the UP sometimes more. That'd be awesome. I'd be so down the ride with you guys. That'd be so much fun. Sweet sled. I'm going to give you an 8. We got CJ here and he has three sleds to show us today. He has a 2002 MXZ 380 fan cool, 2006 GSX HO 600, and a 2007 Skidoo MXZ Blizzard with an MBRP race can. Sled sounds incredible with that can, by the way. You got an awesome fleet of sleds there. I'm going to give you an 8. We got Damien here with a 2001 Skidoo Summit 600 with a $300 stem and bar system. It has a two inch power and risers with pro taper pit bike bars. Also, the Skidoo can sounds good. He doesn't know what the can is. It's a 144 Summit with a one and a half inch paddle track, and he said the sled rips. Well, it looks like it rips. It's sick that you're able to put pro taper pit bike bars on it, so that's pretty awesome that you did that. And it sounds insane. I'm gonna go ahead and give you your sled an eight. We got Maverick here with a 1999 Players XC500, 4100 miles. Everything is still stock. And dude, this sled brings back so many memories. This was literally my first like real sled my dad bought me was a 99 Indy XC SP500. And I absolutely love that sled. I, I, we, I still miss it. It was like my first real sled my parents bought me. And honestly, the last sled my parents bought me, I bought all my sleds after that. But it was such an awesome sled and I miss it. And this just brings back so many memories seeing this. Awesome sled, man. Just because like the memorabilia and everything, you're getting an eight. So that's gonna be it for today's episode of rating my subscribers snowmobiles i went through the dms i have on my new instagram and those are all the ones i had in my new instagram i still have a bunch of my old instagram that i'm gonna go through for another video but that is gonna be next episode if i miss your sled or you guys have a sled that i have not yet rated please go ahead and send it to my new instagram it will be on the screen there just uh picture your sled what's done to it and what your sled is and we'll go ahead and get it in the next episode if you guys like today's video smash a huge thumbs up on today's video comment down below what your favorite sled was like i would say if you guys are new here or you've watched for a while and you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and with all that being said i will catch you guys in the next video peace out I foot on the gas foot on the gas living too fast living too